In this video, we're going to show you all the options you have to customize Log10 Pro X to get the most out of your logbook. Start by tapping on More at the bottom of the screen and then Settings. Next, tap on the My Logbook section. Here you'll find the Typical Role section which allows you to specify a starting point for the role which most closely matches the kind of flying you do. This will pre-configure Log10 Pro by selecting the most common fields in the flight details of the logbook screen for that role. Default Pay Rates allows you to set the different pay rates for your company's pay structure. New Flights as Pilot Flying means that all new flights will be marked as you being the pilot flying. Turn this setting off if you are typically the pilot not flying or flight instructor. You can always change this in any flight record in the Duty section. Tapping back to Settings and then on Time Calculations, here you can specify how total time is calculated. Total time can be calculated from out in, Hobbs, TAC, Taxi, Start, Stop, or Off, On. You may also specify a percentage to adjust the total time. This is useful in the cases of aircraft with no Hobbs meter, so that a percentage can be applied to TAC instead. This is also useful for military pilots who want to do a conversion for civilian work. Setting up auto enter times will reduce the time it takes to enter a flight. For example, if you know that the majority of your flying is all PIC, cross-country, and dual given, you can set these fields to on. Then, for each flight, the value for total time is automatically populated into those fields for you. If you want Log10 Pro to calculate your night time automatically, you must use out-in data for each flight. If you fly with company set duty times, it's common for the company to define when your typical duty starts and ends. You can customize that here. You can also set flight duty time defaults here. Tapping back to the settings screen, you'll find display options. Here you can set how you want your data formatted, set your time preferences, and how your places, aircraft, and people are displayed. Time format allows you to select a time display in hours and minutes or decimal presentation. Time zone allows you to specify whether your dates and times are entered in Zulu, local, or a specific time zone of your choosing. We suggest you use either Zulu or local and let Log10 Pro figure out the appropriate time zone. To reduce confusion, if you're syncing with another iOS device or a Mac, be sure to set your other copies of Log10 Pro X to the same setting. Turning on the Flights Show Crew option will display crew members in your flight listing, here. Turning on the Flights Show Index option generates an index of your flights by year and month for quick scrolling. Back in the Settings menu, next we have the Backup feature, which enables you to create and save backups to iCloud Drive direct from Log10 Pro X. Simply tap on Backup and then on the plus sign in the top right. Next we have the Sync field, which gives you the choice of how you want to sync Log10 Pro X to your other devices, via iCloud or Wi-Fi. Notifications gives you the option of having reminders come up for future flights, duty periods, and expiring certificates. The Account and Store menus give you access to your Cordine account and the Cordine store when you're due for renewal. Video tutorials for many of these features are available on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Cordine Aviation. Once you've customized the settings, tap on the logbook screen and then tap on any flight in the flight listing. Should you want to further customize, you can tap on the edit button in the top right. Tapping on any of the configure section rows will present you with all available fields in that section. Simply turn on the ones you like and turn off the ones you do not want to use. Note that turning off a field does not delete data. It merely hides it from view. To reduce clutter, any sections that have no field shown are completely hidden from view. If you still can't find the field you need, nearly all sections include custom fields that you can use. To rearrange the rows in a particular order, tap the edit button to reveal the three horizontal stripes, then tap and hold to pick up a row and drag it into position. Of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 Pro X by tapping More, then Help, then Email Support. Thanks for watching.